Never do this with your Bitcoin. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the news. Some really crazy news, but I want to share it with you. Of course, diving into the Bitcoin charts, as the Bitcoin charts are showing something really cool again today. Yes, and also, guys, of course, an inspirational quote at the end, also a crypto tip. Some really cool stuff in this video on the Monday morning on this beautiful beach here in Thailand, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the news first. Bam. Before I jump into the news, guys, I want to talk about the website ddbambam.com because my apologies, yesterday the website was completely shut down. Uh, why? Because I made a mistake. Because I registered the website on a very old email address, uh, at home email address from the Netherlands. And of course, I didn't have access to that one anymore. But you get like this confirmation email from the ICANN that you need to confirm that the website is your blah, blah, blah. But I couldn't get that, so I need to apply for a new registration on my new email address. Big mistake from me, but you know, I don't register so many websites every day. <laughs> so, uh, but that will be online today again. Wow, the waves are really big today, guys. The waves are like insane. Check, check. And the positive part from this is that now we have another website and that's called didibambam.me. Like, Didi, come in, bam, bam, me. <laughs> so if you want to check the website, didibambam.me, we closed the seed round yesterday, very positive, exactly made it to our targets. We did open a second seed round as there is a shitload of people that still want to buy into that new platform. So uh, go check it out on didibambam.me. Now, guys, now let's jump into the news. The news item is an item you probably already heard of a long time ago, but it's becoming a news item again as it's now appearing in court. There is a guy, James Howells. James Howells is a UK guy that in 2013 was cleaning up his house. And while cleaning up his house, he threw away his hard drive. And on that hard drive were 8,000 Bitcoins. When I realized in 2013, oh shit, my hard drive, that's where the Bitcoins are on, 8,000 Bitcoins, at that time in 2013, that was around like $1 million. He directly contacted, of course, the landfill and he said, hey guys, I lost something very precious. Please let me search the landfill and find it. And of course he started to search a little bit, but after some time, the landfill got closed by the government because there was some illegal stuff being dumped on that landfill and that was causing the environment a lot of shit and could be not healthy for all the people living around that landfill. So from that moment, James needed to stop searching that landfill. He then started to fight court. He said, I want to search that landfill as there is a shitload of capital on that landfill and I want to find my hard drive back. Please give me access. But the government and the court said, no way, you're not getting access. That landfill is harming the environment. And by you going digging around, maybe some toxic stuff comes loose and it goes to the people around the landfill. And that is what we exactly don't want, no matter how much money it is. Just imagine you being in that position. Just imagine 8,000 Bitcoins on the landfill and then you want to search the landfill, but you're not allowed because the landfill had some issues with the environment. Now, I think it's very painful, but now he's fighting court. I think he's fighting the government for more than 500 million US dollar, as that is exactly how much the Bitcoins are worth at the moment. 8,000 Bitcoin is around 500 million dollars. So he is fighting court now to get 500 million dollars as the court doesn't give him access to a landfill. This is one of the most crazy stories out there. It's like the pizza story and you have this story as well, the landfill story. James Howell, man, I hope really that you ever find those Bitcoins. But if you find them, James, then don't dump them on the market. Don't be a shit coiner. If you find them, if the government gives you access, then also promise us that you will hold all those 8,000 Bitcoins till they are worth a couple of trillion US dollars and not just like 500 million US dollar. So hopefully he gets access, but it's just a crazy story. And there are so many crazy stories. The water comes really high at the moment. And that's why you see all the trash over here, guys. You can see all the plastic because it's the first time that the water in Phuket comes this far and it just brings all the trash here. And now, of course, there will be a beach cleanup and then everything will be gone. But, you know, nature works in mysterious ways. But yeah, James, I hope you will find your 8,000 Bitcoins 
uh, and yes, of course, don't spend them at once. <laughs> but when you did long time for searching, um, and hopefully you don't die then. Just imagine finding the 8,000 bitcoins on that hard drive, on that toxic landfill. Then he finally has his bitcoins. He is like running home to his wife. He's like, yes, I found my 8,000 bitcoins. And then he drops dead because there is something toxic on the landfill that killed him. <laughs> At least maybe then his wife is happy with the 8,000 bitcoins. <laughs> call me, I will help you. If you're the wife, call me, I will help you to unlock the bitcoins and make sure you uh, can spend them. Now, that was the crazy news for today, guys. So yeah, love these stories. So many stories in this industry. But that was really an awesome one, guys. And now I want to follow up that story, of course, with my crypto tip. Because you should never do that, of course. You should never throw your hard drive away with all your Bitcoins or whatever you store your Bitcoins on. But at least into the crypto tip, and that crypto tip that is, guys, choose the wallet that fits you the best. Hardware wallet, software wallet, multi-sig wallet, it doesn't matter. It needs to be the wallet that fits your profile, your lifestyle the best. Do you live at a house or do you own a house with a good safe or do you use still bank safes? Maybe a hardware wallet could be a very well good option. Software wallets on your telephone, also a very good option. But of course, if you lose your telephone, you still need to have the backup of your seed phrase, etc. And you need to store that as well, again, in a safe. So there's many different wallets. In our new platform, Didi Bam Bam, we will make a lot of courses about how to store your Bitcoin safely, also your other cryptocurrencies, of course. But in the last couple of years, I just kept testing all kinds of wallets because I love to test all kinds of new products in this industry. Now I'm testing a new wallet. I'm not being paid to talk about this wallet. You don't even know that I'm using their wallet. But the wallet I'm testing now is VultiSig. And why do I like the setup of VultiSig? VultiSig is a self-custodial wallet. So you have full control on everything. Nobody owns your Bitcoin. You own your Bitcoin. You, not your keys, not your Bitcoin, you know? And VultiSig gives you your keys. But the cool part of VultiSig is that you need a multiple machine set up to be able to send bitcoins or withdraw bitcoins. So for example, you have an iPhone with the VultiSig app, but you also need another iPhone or their iPad or a laptop, whatever it is, you need multiple hardware devices to get access to your bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies. It is a multi-chain cryptocurrency wallet. Just compare it to MetaMask, but then also with Bitcoin and yes, then also with multi-signature, real multi-signature, because if I would like to send something for my VultSig, for example, to you, I need to sign it with my iPhone. Wow. But also probably with the other iPhone. Let's say I set up my wife's iPhone or my laptop, or maybe, and that's the best feature of this thing, an external person that is never near me, that needs to co-sign it as well, wherever he is on the world. And that's a very safe feature because that means even if people find my iPhone and they want to get my and they want to send my bitcoins from that VultiSig wallet or my Ethereum or whatever currency I have on that VultiSig wallet, they need to have that co-signer sign as well. And that co-signer, they don't know where it is, and that co-signer could be on the other side of the world. And if they find that co-signer, they, they still don't know which machine that co-signer is using to do that verification of that sending. So it's a very cool wallet. Of course, I'm not storing my full capital yet on it because it's pretty new and I'm testing it. Uh, you should be testing it as well. But as a community, we can like test all kinds of products and leave behind our opinions so that we can make this a safer place so that we don't get another story about someone that threw away his ledger or his wife that thought it was an old USB stick and threw it away on the landfill, whatever. These stories, we don't need those stories. The cool part of this new VultiSig wallet is, of course, that it's a machine that you normally use as well. An iPhone, a laptop, so nobody suspects that it's like a Bitcoin wallet. A ledger, but now people know, hey, there's Bitcoins on that. And there's more hardware wallets that people know, hey, there's a Bitcoin on that. But they wouldn't expect it of an app on your smartphone, laptop, iPad, whatever other equipment there is that supports the VultiSig. Go check it out. I think the website is VultiSig.com. Really cool app. Uh, let me know down below if you checked it, what your opinion is about that wallet. Now, I don't know if you heard it, but it was like a black crow talking back to me. The black crow is over there. You see him? There, on the pole. I think he had something to say. Did you say something? Bitcoin? No. I thought he said Bitcoin. 
I don't know. I need to play it back. Let me know. I think he said, Bitcoin. Something like that. Maybe he likes it. Now let's jump into the next part. The next part is of course the char. So I need to beam myself up now to my office at home. Bam. And yes, bam, back in the office, from the beach to the office, like this, beam me up. Now, the first chart, guys, is this weekly chart. Not going to zoom in in the four hour chart today, just a weekly chart, why? Because we just closed the weekly candle. This candle opened at 62,831, and we closed at 62,850. So, what then happens is you get a very tiny body, a large wick to the bottom, and a smaller wick to the top, because we had a low of 58, which is a bullish candle. Mostly when the wig is bigger on the bottom uh, than it is on the top, it's a bullish movement. So I told you last time, there is two scenarios. We will find resistance at that 50 DEMA, the difference between an EMA, an SMA, and a DMA. Uh, just read this white box over there. You can see the difference between it. The DEMA provides an even greater weight on the most recent observations. So it's a little bit more tracking the shorter movements. And there was resistance. And we came back to that green line. We found support above again. And now we opened a new candle. So the possibility was that we were closing down below the green line, then going to the red line. That one I can delete now because we found support on this green line. This large wick tells me a bullish week should be ahead. Also here on the bottom, guys, that MACD just wants to turn green. That blue line wants to cross the red line. That will turn green very soon. That is already a beautiful cross over there. Here this will turn green. We are still above that downward trend line in the RSI. I think this could be a very bullish week. And it will mean that we are going to try to break that level of 56K again. But if we break that, we will have a massive run again to 70 plus K levels, guys. So that's what I want to show you just on the weekly. I have some more amazing charts that I want to show you now as well. Guys, if you want to trade all of that, make sure you use the links down below. I'm making this content every day for you guys and I do it with all my passion, but I would appreciate it really, really, really well and hard if you would use the link to sign up to Bybit. That's the best KYC exchange out there with a shitload of bonuses. Non-KYC, use Blowfin, by far the best non-KYC exchange out there. And if you want to trade completely decentralized by connecting your wallet to a decentralized exchange, so you will never have the possibility to lose your Bitcoins, Ethereum, or other currencies, use Apex Pro Omni. The links are down below. Please use these links as they are not there for nothing. Now, let's jump into some more interesting charts that you need to see today as well. Uh, the first one will be over here. This one. My face needs to be gone for that one. This one is just showing you all the major news events of quarter three in 2024. So the major news events from July all the way till September. We are now in October. Just to show you what is happening in the world of Bitcoin. Mt. Gox started to credit their distributions, which means a large dump into the market. Bitcoin just kept going up. Ethereum ETFs began trading. Bitcoin started to dump because people started to buy a little bit of Ethereum, of course, and that's why Bitcoin went down. Then we had the Bitcoin conference in Nashville with all the positive news. Bam, the Bitcoin price went up. Then we have the Candle Fitzgerald launches, the Donald Trump speaks at the Bitcoin 2024, we have the Mt. Gox makes even more transfers now, Morgan Stanley advises. All of these events happened in Carter 3. Here, a very important event, Russia legalized Bitcoin mining. This means Russia is admitting Bitcoin will be the gold of the 21st century and we want to be part of that. And how do we become part of that? We become part of that by making mining legal again in Russia. So there is my face, so you can see the expressions. So that's what they did. Very important news item. Not bigger than news, but very important news. Now, Marathon Digital buying $250 million worth of Bitcoin. BitGo expands a Reddit BTC a custodial service. Now, um, USDD stablecoins withdraw 12K BTC from Treasury without a DAO approval. Big news, but was not big in the, in the news uh, items. So all of these news do have some influence on the price, but I believe that TA is the only thing that really drives the price. All of the news is beautiful, of course, and it will give a little bit more push. Like MicroStrategy buying more Bitcoins, wow, that will push other companies to do the same. You know, and here again, they buy more Bitcoins that push other companies to do the same. Human Rights Foundation was 10 Bitcoin to 20 global projects. 
that's the Human Rights Foundation, awarding Bitcoins to global projects. This is massive news. PayPal are now allowing Bitcoin uh, to businesses. Business can now buy, hold, and sell crypto with PayPal. SEC is approving options on the IBET ETF. So many good news. And that is telling me that the world is slowly adopting to Bitcoin and Bitcoin will not go down, but up. Now, and that is also what you see in this chart. Look, we are underperforming at the moment um, the previous Bitcoin cycles. And underperforming, you can see, because that orange line, that's the current cycle, is now down below the other lines. So we are underperforming the other previous cycle. The blue line is the first halving, then the green line is the second halving. That was a blow off top in 2017 for all those that remember. And that pinkish line is the third halving. That is the moment we had that double top in the last bull market. But it all started at the halving. And you can see what happened after the halving with those other three cycles. They went up, they went to the top of the picture <laughs> you know that orange line is still at the bottom we are still underperforming of course yes sideways that's beautiful but we are underperforming the other cycles when it came to the sideways movement it started pretty well then we fell down we went to the green line now we are on track because if you see this that one was the highest the green line was the second highest the purple was the third highest so the orange will be, I think, the fourth highest. So again, I will try to draw this. What I think that will happen is from a certain moment now towards the elections, ending middle to end of October elections time, that is when we will see a massive run in Bitcoin. And that run will go all the way, I think, to 90K over there. And there where we will find resistance, we will fall back a little bit. And then we will go up again. And then when we will come into 2025, we will have a small dip, but also go up again, guys. And that is where the top somewhere will be in the end of 2025, where we'll find the top above the 100K, probably 160K-ish. Then we will have a dip. I think it will be a blow off top. We will come up again to full people. We will go into a bear market like this, all the way into 2027, bottom out, where you will be buying. Then we will go up again and slowly build up towards that new halving over there again in 2028. The current halving, we were at 63,000 US dollar, as you can see there. The next halving will definitely be higher than 63,000. The next halving, we could easily be at 120K, for example. Just to give you an example, what I believe that will happen to the Bitcoin price in the next coming years, guys. Now, okay. Um, of course, yes, my face was uh, partly, uh, again, in, uh, the, in the chart, but now uh, you can still see what I expect, like this, guys. Now, then we have one more chart, I think. Let me see this one over here. This one is showing you also um, the same picture, but now a little bit different uh, uh, graphics, because now you can see that, for example, that um, blue line, this is where we started like with $10, we went all the way up to $1,200 and we came back all the way to $200, you know, and then the next halving was $600 there. That was uh, the second one. That green mine, uh, the halving was $8,000. Then the third one, that was the previous now one, was $63,000 US dollar. But you can see that every time the same thing happens. We go from these levels to the next level, from the green level to the next level from the 10K level almost to the 100K level. Now again, here, almost from that 100K level, 63, we will go above that 100K level somewhere in this area. And then we will come down again to that 63K level, whatever it might be in the future. And then the next halving, we will be higher than 63K again. That's how the four year cycle just works. Now, then we have one more chart, uh, and that is a very important one as well, because this is showing you the realized price power law, guys. Uh, there is some red text on this image, please read that, because yesterday, at the end of the day, the Bitcoin price was 60K. Now, the realized power law price, the realized power law price was 52,600. So the price is 14% and 250 days above the trend, as the trend is uh, that yellow line. So we are above that trend, guys. Now, the realized price is down below the trend. You can see that green line, that is at 32,227. During the bull markets, that realized price is going to go above the trend line. Mostly is above the trend line. These dotted lines is, of course, uh, the uh, future realized power law, so that's what we expect. So we expect from here 
to take off and take a distance to these kind of area, maybe I should draw again, to take a distance to these kinds of area in the end of 2025, somewhere here at two, uh, 150,000, before we come down, maybe 160,000, a little bit higher, come down again in 2026, come down, and then again, you know, downish to these bear markets again. That's how we mostly go. Sometimes down below that line a little bit in the bear market, 2017, and then we build up again, you know, and we try to go above it again, something like that. And then not like that, that's the S-curve, but that is how you see on this chart. So we can see, if we look to this, this is just how it always normally just moves. This is just the movements of Bitcoin. And that is what people should start to understand. Yes, we can touch that yellow line over there, here, there. That's beautiful. But we have we had support, like we just showed over there, we will take off again. There will be a new bull market top somewhere in this area. And then after that, yes, like it happened here in the bear market, we will go to that yellow line and maybe even below it. That will happen here again, maybe, in 2027. But there will be a top before in 2025. That is what I think is going to happen to Bitcoin, guys. Now, that were all the charts. Now let's jump into the beach again. Bam. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Short term, beautiful volatility. Yes, of course, I also opened the trade again. Let's see if that will be in profit in the next couple of days. I always trade now in these midterm to long term positions because I just don't have the time to trade daily. As that setting up a really cool learning platform, the Didi Bam Bam platform, which takes a shitload of my time at the moment. But still, trading is fun. And trading can give you a freedom lifestyle where you can travel all over the world just with your laptop because that's the only thing you need. Even your iPhone, it is possible. But I prefer the laptop to trade uh, to do and earn some income because of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, guys. Now, long term, it just still looks amazing. I don't have any doubt in Bitcoin long term. I still believe we will go to around 90K till the end of this year. So in 2024, I still believe we could end up somewhere. Wow, the waves around 90k guys and from there yeah we could dip again a little bit and 2025 will be the ultimate top so you still have time to dollar cost average into bitcoin today guys at these amazing prices around 60k now let's jump into the inspirational part of the video oh and guys before i forget don't forget to join my world series of trading team at bybit there is a special link if you already signed up to bybit all good you just need to have a bybit account but use that link to join my team and let's try to earn a piece of that 10 million US dollar that Bybit is giving away during the World Series of Trading. Just join my team, just do some trades, and all the trades will be calculated together. And if we collectively as a team, the all-in team, yes, that's the name, uh, make good trades, then yes, we will be able to claim a little bit of that 10 million US dollar and many other prizes. Join the team down below. There is a special link to join the World Series of Trading team of All In Diddy. Wow, the water, yes, all in the water. Bah. The inspirational part, and <laughs> beautiful wave again. Look, there it comes, it's eating me. Yes, ah, oh, such nice warm water, but look, it goes all the way up to the shore. That's why we see this like cliff over there now, guys. Ah, it will be fixed, and if not, that's nature. Now, the inspirational part for the day is, when you're having fun, that is exactly when the best memories are made. Just think about your life. Which are your best memories? And when were those best memories made? Were they made while working at your job? Were they made while sitting in the classroom at school? Or were they made when you were having fun? On a wedding? Or when you met your wife on your first date? Or your first holiday or your first holiday love on the campsite when were the best memories made they were always made when you were having fun so the thing that you need to do to create a shitload of beautiful memories is have fun doesn't it sound really simple why are we always stressing on so many things that are really not that important i did it as well in my past always stressing about these little things that really didn't matter at all zero but still stressing and then you know when i lost my mother and my father then you start to wake up and during those times of life the most painful times of life you start to realize why the fuck am i this way why the fuck am i stressing about all these little things not realizing i'm losing all that precious time to stress I should be losing all that precious time 
to having fun because that is when the best memories are made. At that moment, I thought, why am I stressing about that? That was when I really realized that's the wrong way to live. I stopped stressing about all those small things that could ruin your whole day. I started to wake up in the morning and being thankful, show appreciations for all the beautiful things in life. Then you wake up a little bit different than you are waking up like, ah, oh, shit, another fuck day. I need to do this. Need... No, thank you, I woke up. Thank you, my, I'm healthy. Thank you, my wife is also healthy. Thank you, my kids are healthy. All that kind of stuff in the morning makes the start of the day completely different. And then during the day, don't stress about all that stuff that you don't have influence on. You are not God. You cannot determine how life will flow. It goes how it goes. It flows how it flows. And you just adapt to those situations. And it is all about what your mindset, what your opinion makes of the stuff that happens to you in your life. And sometimes, yes, definitely not nice what is happening to your life. But it doesn't mean you can change it. That doesn't mean you need to stress about it. It means you need to give it a place in your life and just move on until you find something else that again makes you happy. So that's the quote for today, guys. Those precious, beautiful memories are always made when you do something fun. Just start to focus on fun in your life. And if your job is blocking fun, stop that job and go do a job that you consider as fun. And if something else, your partner, your children, whatever in life it is, is blocking you to have fun, then stop that. Sometimes it's just good to make an end to something, to start over again and live a life full with happiness and fun. Because that is exactly when the best memories will be made. Not during you being stuck in a vicious cycle, not being able to escape that cycle. Break it, destroy the cycle, start to have fun every day. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the video? What do you think about the charts, the tips, the news, 8,000 Bitcoins? Would you like to own 8,000 Bitcoins? And also, let me know if you checked out ddbambam.me and what you think about that new educational revolution that I'm trying to start with a really cool team. Guys, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing week, an amazing day. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam.